I'm Teresa and welcome back to Celebration Elevation and I am really excited about this video today. I went to Napa over the weekend with my husband and got kind of inspired by a lot of the things there. So I am doing a blog post this week and my video. Both will be on basically the same things. I'm talking about making things with wine bottles or bottles in general and then also some cork things. So well, let's get started talking about it. I did a little Instagram reel. I don't know if you saw that, but if you look at my, if you go to my Instagram page, it is celebration underscore elevation. And there was a reel that I did yesterday or yeah, yesterday to the song Red Red Wine. <laughs> so um, I showed a couple of things that I made in it. And one is this really pretty bottle and I'll show you it lights up and it lights up there we go this bottle actually was already this pretty green color and it's already frosted and then I just took um, sharpie and I wrote on it but you can use sharpie you can use whatever you want so I used a uh, silver and bronze colored just a bunch of kind of doodles and I wrote Cheers. I don't know if you can see this better without the light on. Um, there we go. So it says cheers. The other side says congrats. I'm just, just kind of envisioning this being for someone's birthday or anniversary. And this was a cognac bottle. If you wanted to give this to someone as a present with actually the contents in it, that would be a great idea. You want to just wash it in hot soapy water, scrape the whole uh, label off of it so you get all the residue and everything. And then I just took one of these little LED fairy light things and just threaded it through and into the bottom. And this it's pretty long and then you can just take like a pencil or something and just keep shoving it down there. So then what you have is this. So. <laughs> If you can get others, and also I would like to get uh, one of those drill bits for glass so I could thread things through it, through the bottom, and I think that that would be cool. So I'm gonna be doing that sometime soon. But until then, that's these are just these little plastic ones from Amazon, I'll put a link below. So there was that. Then I also took this, this was just I think a, like a Corona bottle. <laughs> um, so beer bottle. And again, this one lights up. I love it because it's a like an amber color glass, which is pretty. So I just took twine and I wrapped it around. I put a little dot of hot glue at the top, wrapped it around really tightly. And then I left some room so that you can actually see the, you know, the lights coming through it. And then I started at the bottom, put a little drop of glue and started winding it around this way. And then every like few rows, I'd put another like couple drops of glue and then just wind over that just to help it stay in place so that it, you know, if one little part moves, it doesn't all start unwinding. And then I took some lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree and just kind of put it over the top of it and over the bottom here. And then these were things that I've had forever. These little cute little confetti, they're wood says love so I just kind of hid the little point where I where the two sides met and I hid it like that so that's what I did for the first two the uh, the next thing I'm gonna do and I'm really excited about this one so this bottle had in it raspberry liqueur and I'm blanking on what it's sham chambord I think I believe that's what it's called but look how pretty the top is for this because it looks almost like a gigantic perfume bottle <laughs> and so I took all the label off I think this is actually partly a label too but it just says raspberry liqueur on it but I thought it was pretty but this has a big label that goes around it and I don't know if you can see on there but it's indented so what I'm gonna do is I've discovered this new technique that I have not tried yet so we're gonna try it together so you use Epsom salt and the same stuff that you use for like making bath salts um and then we're gonna glue some of that around the middle and then we're gonna paint the bottle 
with other colors and paint on top of the Epsom salt too. And I'll kind of get more into it in just a few minutes, but I just wanted to tell you what we're going to do with this. And a couple other things and so I'm really excited so I hope you stay with me and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button please and comment on anything below and I'm gonna get ready and then we will come back and I will show you what we're gonna do with this pretty bottle here okay I am back with the next step so what I have here is a little plastic bowl I have some Epsom salt and this is just the regular Epsom salt you can find at any pharmacy or Target, um, Walmart. It's magnesium sulfate, USP grade. We have some Mod Podge and we have the bottle that we're gonna use. And then I have a plate to put some of the Mod Podge on. What I'm gonna do first is put some of the Mod Podge on my plate here. Okay, put some Mod Podge on there. And then I'm going to put the Epsom sauce in this little bowl. And also I'm working on just this little baking pan here so that my Epsom salts, when I drop the stuff inevitably, it's not gonna go flying. Okay, so I've learned some things. I'm just gonna to talk to you about um, this while I'm working. So I've learned some things about the Epsom salts because some people had made things with it, I noticed online. And I guess it just looks really pretty. It looks like, um, and I'm thinking of all these things I'm gonna do at Christmas with this, but it looks like, kinda like little crystals. Well, it is crystals. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. But it looks like snow. It looks really pretty, but then what happens is the moisture in the Epsom salts dries up and then you're left with just basically a white chalky nothing on there. So it's pretty for a short period of time, but then, you know, the, the luster, literally the luster <laughs> goes away. What we're gonna do is paint over the Epsom salts so that they will, that seals in the moisture and then we don't have to worry about that. So I'm just gonna keep going with this. I'm just gonna paint around this and put the Epsom salts on there and I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch this and then I will be back to talk to you when we start the next step. Okay, so I am back again, and I wanna show you, this meanwhile is drying. I just wanna make sure that that's completely dry. Also, I wanna tell you, it would have been smarter for me, and see, I'm just gonna give you this tip because this is what I do next time, is I should have put a painter's tape on both sides of this, and that would have made it so much easier. I wouldn't have to worry about getting a straight line. So I would do painter's tape on both sides of this next time. So just a little tip for you. All right, so now, we're gonna go on to this bottle, which I think is so pretty. It's like glass stopper and it's rubberized right there, but it's very pretty. I found it, it was up in our cupboard and it still had some moisture in it. So it was like condensation in there. And so at first I took my hair dryer and I thought, well, I'll just do it like this. But then I thought, now this was a good tip for you guys. If you have something like that, that you're not gonna drink out of. So I poured a little bit of just rubbing alcohol in here and swirled it around because rubbing alcohol, you know, will dry up other things. Put that in around there, dumped it out, and then just hit it with the blow dryer for a couple minutes and it was perfect. The next step is we're gonna take this bottle we're gonna take some pencils and they need to be brand new pencils because you're gonna use the eraser part. And we're gonna do confetti basically on here. We're gonna paint confetti dots all the way. And then as we get, as we're closer to the bottom, that's where they're gonna be more concentrated. And as we are up more the top, they will be fewer and farther between. So you can use any colors. I wanted to add some metallic to it. And then I'm gonna do some purple and some green. 
some green and some purple. I am just putting a ream of paper down here to use sort of as my little desktop. So what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna use my one of my pencils, gonna dab it in from dabbing it on, and then I'm going to, you can see, dabbing them on, making those little circular, and they look exactly like little pieces of confetti, which is really pretty cool. So I'm just gonna keep going around in sort of a random pattern. I'm learning right here, you should, on your eraser, in between each time you're dabbing it on your glass. So now I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna speed this up so you, again, don't have to watch. So I will show you in just a few minutes when I get further along. Okay, quick update on my progress here. I just want to show you, I've finished painting the purple strip around that has the Epsom salt on it. So that's what that looks like. I did the polka dots on the other bottle, but this is what it looks like. So I did the confetti look to it and it's concentrated more at the bottom. I'll be able to show it to you in a little bit with the little fairy lights in it, but that's what that looks like. And then I added one more color to it. I just thought it needed a little something, so I added the pink, mag the magenta color on there. So that's what's going on. And now I'm gonna paint below the purple on here, and I wanna paint it a yellow. I want it to be a very contrasting color. So I'm gonna show you that in just a few minutes. I did want to show you one other thing as far as with corks because I did mention I was going to give you a couple tricks or a couple things you can do with corks for decorating. And so I don't want this video to go too long so I'm just going to show you one for now and I will do a whole bunch more at another time. What you do is you take a cork and you take a, just a wooden skewer and it's going to be used as a little stake in a plant. We're going to pretend that my plant here <laughs> is basil. It's not basil. It's some kind of cactus. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do though is I'm going to just take the cork and I'm going to write on the side. And you could do it in fancy writing or just completely plain. I'm just going to do block letters, but I'm just doing basil. Like sorry, like this, taking my, and I'm gonna make it so that when it's going down in the soil, it is like we can see the name of it. I'm taking the pointy side and I'm just gonna put it into the middle of the cork like this. And then there we go. <laughs> So I know that's a simple one, but that's actually a good one for the springtime because you're planting a bunch of stuff outside. That way you can label what's in your garden. So that's done. The other thing is I finished painting this one and I was just waiting for it to dry and then I'm going to show it to you lit up. All right, so we have finished up and then this one, I really love this. I wanted to just give you a quick tip on this one too. So after you do this, I would take it, put it in a cold oven, turn the oven up to 300 degrees, and then let it sit in there for 30 minutes. Then turn the oven off and let it cool completely. Let the glass cool with the oven. This was acrylic paint we used on this glass, or actually on both the glass, so it makes it set. And then definitely don't put it in the dishwasher, but then you can, you know, gently hand wash it with a sponge and some dishwashing lick. So that is it for now. I'm just going to turn off the lights so you can see. Yep, that's it. Okay, guys. So that's what it looks like. I hope you enjoyed this, and I am also going to have this information I'll have um, some links below in the description but I'm also going to have this information on my blog so if you go to celebrationelevation.com this is going to be on my blog before the actual video so by the time you're watching this video you can go back and see um, more detailed explanations 
a little bit more about my trip to Napa, just a few pictures and a couple pictures of the small vineyard we have at our house. So that's it. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.